Hey everyone, Dustin here from Dustin's Travels. Are the animals in Yellowstone dangerous? Let's talk about it. All right, thanks for tuning in. Are the animals in Yellowstone dangerous? Well, yes, they are in, they are wild animals. They're not tamed. They're not in the zoo. They're not used to people coming and petting them. She was trying to reach her hand out and pet the thing. Yeah, it was just an accident waiting to happen. 10, 15 I, Somewhere feet in there. In the air. So they are very, very dangerous. But that being said, just don't get cl too close to them and you'll be fine. So the general rule in Yellowstone is 100 yards away from bears and wolves. 25 yards away from everybody else. So 25 yards is not that far. You can like see the animals really, really well. I can take good pictures and videos from only 25 yards out. So that's the general rule. Um, and you want to follow that. Bison, they they earn, injure more people every year than anybody else in Yellowstone. But that's because people get too close to the bison. It's, you, it's bison attacks are because people aren't respecting the bison space. So if you see any animals, any of them, with babies, uh, you may want to increase that 25 yards by a couple yards. Um, if you see them sort of cornered or trapped or like they can't get out, give them space to get out. So you just want to use your common sense when you're around the animals. Don't get too close. Don't go and pet them. Some, some people actually try to do that. Uh, just keep your distance and you're going to be fine. You can also take your kids. We saw lots of kids uh, in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, again, don't just let the kid run up to the bison and pet the bison. You got to keep the kids back. Um, the, the videos you've seen or stories you've heard are, are because of people getting like, you know, attacked by animals is because they let, they go too close to the animals, um, and, and things like that. So also if you're going to go hiking, backcountry hiking, you want to bring some bear spray just in case. Um, the last thing you do want to do is surprise a bear and come up on a bear and like startle him and he charges you or something like that. Right. Um, so you want to make sure you keep your space, bring bear spray. But, you know, mil four million people, I think, visit the park every single year, and there's hardly any injuries. Percentage-wise, compared to that number of visitors, is like zero. So um, there are there are some attacks, but it's usually people not respecting the animal's private space, and they're getting too close. So make sure you keep your space, and yeah, you should be fine. But again, all the animals can be dangerous if you get close to them. Bison have big horns. They're, they weigh a lot of pounds. Elk can have uh, big antlers. Um, you know, obviously bears and wolves, they might eat you if you get too close and you look like prey. So just use your common sense, follow the rules, uh, when you're there and you should be totally fine. All right. This video helps, helps you give us a thumbs up below, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.